Hi guys, in this episode of Nostalgia Trib, I am excited to be continuing with my reactions to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 1987 series. Currently we are on Season 3, Episode 38, The Great Bodini. Based on the title of this episode, I don't really expect it to be that interesting, because it just seems like it's gonna be a random pillar episode, and... At this point of the series, I'm kind of starting to get sick of those, even if they're not, like, boring or they might be kind of entertaining at times. I I'm just kind of starting to get sick of this show in a way as well, especially because we're still stuck on this goddamn season, man. A season... having 38 episodes, or in the case of this season, like, 47 or something episodes, it's just way too much. I, like, I've talked about before how I feel like nowadays shows, TV shows, cartoons, have way too little episodes, way too few episodes. But this is ridiculous. There's way too many. I think 20 episodes or 26 is just fine. Fucking 47 is way too much. Because I'm getting sick and tired and I want a change of pace. Hopefully, at least, once we get into Season 4... The status quo of this series is going to be a little bit different because I'm sick and tired of the Technodrome being in the center of the Earth and them constantly coming up to the surface. I'm sick and tired of the random things that their uh, Shredder and Krag are trying to use to uh, conquer the world and obviously knowing that those are going to fail. It's not that the episodes are not fun or entertaining or that I don't like the vibe of the series. I'm just kind of getting sick of the same thing at this point. And they've really fucking milked it to death at this point. So yeah, hopefully this filler episode, which I assume is going to be in some way, shape or form connected to magicians, is going to be more entertaining than I expect it to be. Honestly, that's when it's kind of the most fun. When do these reactions, when I expect an episode to be bad... And it turns out to be much better than I thought, you know. But there's only one way to find out whether that's going to be the case. Before we do, though, I do want to remind you, as usual, that I would really appreciate it if you guys could help me out with my transition by donating to my Patreon or Coffee account. Because for those of you who didn't know, I am trans. And by doing so, you also get access to the full and version of this reaction, as well as all of the reactions that I do on the channel, which includes cartoons, short live action TV series, long live action TV series, and movie full and reactions, as well as anime uh, full and reactions. I almost forgot those. Uh, you can also just simply uh, stick with the YouTube version of this reaction and simply like the video, but it is greatly appreciated if you do make the extra step of supporting me. Now that we've gotten that out of the way though, without further ado, we should get into the reaction to Season 3, Episode 38, The Great Bodini, in 3, 2, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, Michelangelo the Magnificent! Thank you, Caitlin. What Who the fuck are those friend? kids? I will now perform Is that that one kid from that one episode? Like episode 15, I think it was? Okay, that was kind of good, like your head. That was a good joke. Or maybe I'm just really fucking tired and high. Hi, Zach. Hey, who's your friend? This is Caitlin. She wants to be a turtle like me. Uh-uh. I want to be a turtle like you, Miss O'Neill. Well, I'm not exactly a turtle, Caitlin. See, April's more of an associate turtle. If Associate she turtle. Ass, she gets promoted to second assistant turtle. And of Michelangelo. <laughs> <laughs> amusing, dude. Stop shitting on Mikey, guys. Hello, I honestly, okay, I'm kind of liking this episode. I'm not gonna lie. So far, two really funny jokes. Uh, an inclusion of actually kid characters that, like, continuation of that kid character from that episode, an inclusion of a female. Uh, Kid character who also loves the turtles or whatever. That's kind of cool. I'm, I'm kind of seeing a little bit of myself in her, I guess, uh, with me being trans and all um, nowadays. It's kind of cool that they're showing that girls can also like TMNT and stuff, you know? Well, and how come they got it Because the police caught him coming out of the museum with it. 
Wait, in what episode did you appear? I remember you. It was the case of the kimono, right? It was a couple of episodes ago. It was episode... Uh, 33. I don't think he used his tricks though, I, I'm pretty sure somebody stole it. I mean, that's not far from... Like, it's not hard to think of that, dude. It's very likely, but... Now that I think about it, yeah, it is kind of suspicious how quickly he was just died on the ground and how adamant he was that he didn't steal it. I like Caitlyn. Can we keep her? I wonder where Boltini went. She's cool. Now, where is it? You fucking bastard. Cousin? It definitely fooled me. Yes! Hell yeah! I love her even more. She's a great. She's great. Can we keep her genuinely? Why didn't you just go back the way you fucking came, you idiots? Why? Why would they have fucking stolen that? Also, I, is this the first time we've seen the police uh, point guns at the turtles in this series? Like, they're not just doing that, like in fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! Give me that! Sure, catch! No, don't throw it! Run, Zack! Man, she's even sacrificing herself! She's great! She's such a good kid! Hey, kid, let's make a trade. You give me the totally emerald, I give you back I'd be proud if she was my, da my daughter. Give me that emerald or she'll suffer the consequences. I love that they're continuing the gag with the fucking tickling. Haven't you ever seen four foot tall turtles before? Casey Mikoro, the wee ones, the little big Hey, hey, Sean, I know we're short, but not that short. You've got the wrong people here, Lieutenant. They don't need any emerald. They've got parts of gold. What are you talking about, O'Farity? They're leprechauns. No, they're not. I mean, you guys are not really doing a good job convincing the police that you didn't steal it. Just saying. You think that at this point the turtles would have done enough to protect the city to not be assumed criminals? But I guess not. It's kind of annoying how many characters have to have their fucking enemies in terms of like the system, like the police, the media, etc. What? Greetings, humans. I am the Rat King. Hell yeah! Oh my god! I can't believe this! That is so sick! Okay, this episode is so good. I fucking love it. I, I, how did that fucking happen that I predicted that this was gonna be again like that? God damn it. I mean, I said that it was gonna suck, but like, I was wrong. But I also mentioned how cool it would be if. I was wrong, and it turned out to be a good episode. I love when... I love how this show is just kind of throwing a bunch of different characters together. It's so good. It's always so fun whenever you get to the point of a series like that, when you have an established story and lore and characters that you can just throw into the plot later on. It's so fun. 
We're fugitives from justice. Turtles on the lamb, running from the cops, hunted night and day. Donatello here. Are you guys all right? We will be if Michelangelo stops pretending he's in a gangster movie. <laughs> We've been looking for Zach and Caitlin. Have you Man, there's so many funny jokes in this episode. I love it. This is a really funny episode. No sign of those brats anywhere. I'll find them for you for a price. Sure, anything. Just get that emerald. Go, my loyal subjects. Find those children and keep everyone else out of the museum. Don Tertelli. Right. He must be behind this gem theft. Yep. The chances are he's still in the museum with the kids. Yep. Oh, it's locked. Now what? We gotta hide this emerald. But where? The last place that ever looked for it. Come on. Where? It gets worse, guys. There's no way into the museum. You brats are gonna tell me where you stashed that emerald, or you'll be buried. I'm kind of surprised they're showing the children getting tortured, because this is a legitimate torture, by the way. And just because it's tickling, oh, it's not dark or torturous, but it actually is. It is a form of torture. He got in through the sewer. Then he could already be gone. He wouldn't leave this truck here. Let's That's go, a good guys. point. I love how smart the writing is for this episode. Sergeant, give us an hour. If we can't catch those crooks, we'll turn ourselves in. If Lieutenant Vronsky do I let you get away again, he... You've got one hour. Wow, you're actually being reasonable. Still a cab though. <laughs> Interesting how they're not torturing the girl. Never mind. Okay, I I'm I'm loving this episode, dude. There's so much So much depth and so many interesting aspects to this episode. I thought I smelled a rat. For that you will suffer. Poor kids, they're being fucking tortured. By the standards of this show as well, because they've established that this is a torture. Not even just like IRL torture, but a torture in this fucking universe. And they're doing that to kids, it's just kind of wild. The kind of stuff that were, you were allowed to do, just because it's not obviously like dark or awful, is kind of wild. Or maybe I'm just making shit up, I don't know. It just feels like it's very dark and brutal for them, you know. Where is it? The Tortellini Emerald. Back in the family again. Come on, Caitlin, run! Come back here, you never mind them. We got the emerald, let's get out of here. Caitlin, this is You're alright now. But don't you tell you both? You actually gave it to them? Why? That dude was a crook. We gotta turn off this weather. But how? My school tours this museum. I know where the computer room is. I'll show you the secret way down to the basement. Donatello, you take Honestly, the only reason why I enjoyed this episode being so focused on the kids is Caitlin. She makes this episode great. Control computer working. Maybe we can link up the climate controls to one of these other computers. Hey, it might work. Say, you're pretty good. If you're gonna she see is. a girl, forget it. There, that should do it. Okay, I've got the climate circuit set. Let's try it. Caitlin and Donatello must have fixed the computer. But Don Tertelli and Bovini are getting away. Let me go! I want to call my lawyer. And I couldn't have captured these crooks without the help of the teenage mutant ninja leprechaun. Begora, that's us, me boys. Okay. 
Honestly, a surprisingly fun episode. Why is it always like this, man? It's it's fun when it is like this, though. Uh, so I'm not complaining or anything, but... Oh, man. Why is it always the episodes that I least expect turn out to be some of the best ones? I guess it's because I have such low expectations that even something that is kind of mildly above average kind of manages to blow me away, but... This was a really fun episode. I really, really enjoyed the inclusion of Caitlyn. She honestly kind of made the episode for me. She was the most entertaining part of it. I definitely enjoyed her far more than the stupid kid. I don't even remember his name. I think it was Zach. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same kid that we had from that one episode, the fifth turtle. Um, so I like that bit of continuity, but I just really like her. And I hope she appears in more episodes in the future because... She's a great character, She show, her inclusion in the story sh shows the audience that TMT is just not, not just for boys. So that's pretty cool and it's just really interesting to me how even as far back as like the early 90s, you still had these kind of like uh, characters that are supposed to like be included for the sake of like representation, you know? Because I feel like that's kind of the case here. Like, it's a character that is supposed to show, oh, yeah, oh, girls can also en enjoy TMNT. Uh, maybe it's not that. Maybe they're just like, oh, yeah, let's just include a female character for the sake of it. Uh, just because. But I, I, that's kind of how I see it. And I like it. You know, I like that inclusion of that character. Especially because, like I said before, if, you're not guy if you guys are not aware, I am trans. I identify... Uh, as a female right now, even though I obviously don't necessarily look it that much, um, it's because I haven't started transition properly and because I need your help to do so. Because I don't have the means to, uh, to, to start a transition. I need some money. Um, but I identify as female, so it's cool that this show kind of acknowledges females who enjoy the show as well, you know? Uh, so that's pretty cool. I really like that. And she was just a cool character. And with me uh, identifying as female, I just saw myself in her, you know. So, yeah. It was pretty cool to have a character that is... Honestly, funnily enough, she was actually not really much of a stereotypical female. Because in the cases of both April and Irma, they're fucking stereotypes. Like, they're more of a car. Uh, they're more present uh, as characters of the show, obviously, we're just, this is the first time we've seen Caitlyn, but weirdly enough, she's more of an actual character than them, because April, all she fucking talks about is uh, being a reporter, and every other aspect of her character that they actually mention always has something to do with her being a woman. It's kind of the same for Irma, although for her, her character's focus is just finding a boyfriend. So she's even more of a stereotype like that. Whereas Caitlyn didn't have any of that. She was just a kid who had interests, you know? She wanted to be a, a, a ninja turtle, which, which is just cool. She felt like more like an actual person, like an actual, actual individual. And I really like that. I, I think she was really well written in that regard. Like, we had also one scene where she called out, I guess, maybe a little bit of sexism uh, from Donatello, although I was talking over it, so you guys probably didn't manage to hear it, but there was that. And I don't mind it, you know? That, I feel like, again, kind of makes her more of a real character, because I feel like that's something one would say. But yeah, this was honestly really, really fun of an episode. I really liked it. And in terms of our rating, I'm going to go as far as a 9.5 out of 10, man. I had a lot of fun with this one. It was really good. It's... I mean, I honestly, you know what? I would say it. It's one of the best episodes of this show and definitely one of the best episodes of this third season, which inherently makes it one of the best episodes of the show. I, I just really like Caitlyn. In terms of a character ranking, she's definitely going to be up there for me if I ever do one, you know? But I am really curious, what do you guys think about uh, Caitlyn and uh, this episode as a whole? Because I had a lot of fun with this one. It was really cool. Uh, so, comment those down below. Let's have a discussion about this. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently four patrons on Patreon. Omar Bridgman, Deadpool, Corby Dead, and Andrew. 
Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me, you have decided to support me, have continued to support me for such a long time, hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, also check out the link in the description to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you want to enjoy my stories or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my coffee account where I can pledge your support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do any of that, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!